Today I'd like to introduce you to our large rig mounted diamond core drilling motors and these are both the shared motor unit but this model has a three speed gearbox and this one has four. Both of them have an oil bath gearbox to give it maximum protection for the gears and also have a mechanical slip clutch. And the motors have an all alloy construction and that gives better cooling as well as better durability and stability for the motor. Now these motors are very high efficiency and they work very hard. They have uh, a very sophisticated protection system. So we have the load warning system which basically gives you feedback and the motor can talk back to you and tell you what it's doing. Because as you're drilling, you're putting pressure on the feed handle. If you're pushing too hard, the this, the warning system will slow the motor down and you'll immediately know to let off. Don't push so hard and it will just keep going. It will restart and keep going. And, but then if you really do overload the motor, we have uh, a standard overload which will stop the motor. Or if you overheat the motor, it will also stop the motor. And then all you need to do is remove the motor from the, the load, turn it off and back on again and it will run. And, but before you start working again, give it a minute to let the motor cool down before you continue drilling. Now the spindle is a one and a quarter seven, which is pretty much standard in the industry. It also has an yeah, uh, internal thread, a one and a half inch BSP. So it'll give you some other choices for mounting your drill bits. This is the anti-seize ring, which keeps the motor from the bit from getting stuck on the, the arbor. And this is where we, we fit our water feed. Each model comes with a water feed kit and it threads right in here. And these are quick replaceable seals. All you need to do is remove these three screws and it makes it easy to replace your water seals. And you see here there's a bleed hole which will give you a warning if your water seal is leaking. If there's water weeping out of the bleed hole then you know it's time to replace your water seals. Otherwise it could uh, be water leaking toward the gearbox which would not be desirable at all. The four speed models have two different selectors and they're labeled with letters so you just follow the combination etched into here for the recommended bit diameter you need. And nice that we have these these gears are lockable so they when you turn the gear you press in the, the lock button and it will keep the gear from skipping out of gear under load. The three speed model shifts gears in a similar way to the four speed but of course it just has the one selector and as the other the recommended core bit diameters with each speed are etched onto the gearbox. To change the gears you have to first press in the button and then turn the slider and sometimes it helps to turn the arbor a little bit as you turn. You can see here that the, the lock button is still sticking in that means the gear is not fully engaged yet. But then as you turn it all the way home, then you know it's locked in place. It won't skip out of gear. This is the switch box. And it's got a heavy duty uh, rocker type switch. And for horizontal drilling, there's a spirit level. And there's another exactly like it on the other side. And for vertical drilling, we've got a bullseye level here. And it's really convenient here for having the tail handle for moving the motor around.